the 2nd of June, we were all heartbroken to learn of the passing of our hero, Rob Burrow, CBE. Rob, who played his entire career for Leeds Rhinos, was a true inspiration throughout his life, whether that was on the rugby field or during his battle with MND. Rob never allowed others to define what he could achieve and always believed in his own ability to do more. For those who knew Rob, his determination and spirit in the face of MND came as no surprise. Rob never accepted that he couldn't do something. He just found his own way of doing it better than anyone else. He will continue to inspire us all every day. There is and will only ever be one Rob Burrow. Would you please stand, if you are able, for a minute's silence for the great Rob Burrow, CBE. I've never felt emotion like it in a rugby league stadium. Lindsay Burrow, Rob's wife, applauding the efforts of his former teammates, the supporters in here, and the Leeds Rhinos club. Friends, family, men who share changing rooms, and the two people that raised Rob Burrow, his parents, Jeff and Irene. All standing on, all applauding with what they've just seen. It is incredible here at Headingley Stadium. Now the players of the Betfred Super League from the Leeds Rhinos and the Lee Leopards will play their part in honoring the memory of the late Rob Burrow. It's round 15 of the Betfred Super League. We have two sides with so much to play for. Let's hope for two sides that will play the game in the same spirit that Rob Burrow played the game. Let's go over to your commentary team for this special game on what has been the most special of nights. Kyla Moore and Dave Woods. Thank you, Brian. Well, what an incredible night. This stadium is emotionally supercharged at the moment. Pretty certain I don't think any club has ever paid such a fabulous and emotional tribute to one of their greatest and one of their most inspirational. For the record, Chris Kendall is the referee tonight. Video referee is Jack Smith. And now these players, the 13 on each side who start, have the task of producing a match that this occasion deserves. As Brian says, I don't think there's ever been an emotion, Kyle, in a rugby league stadium like the one we have witnessed in the last hour and the one that we continue to feel right now. No, certainly not, Dave. And good evening to you and everyone at home on this special night as these two sides battle it out with hopes of keeping their chances of the playoffs alive. Mikolai Oletsky straight into the action there. But met by three and four Lee Leopards. 
Well, we saw the teams warming up before the game in circumstances like they've never had before. Just how long will it take? I mean, you've, ne you've never played in a, on an occasion like this. No. I mean, how long does it take to switch on to the task in hand tonight and, and, and put just momentarily all that behind them? Look, it's difficult, Dave, but the team that's able to do it quick has settled down a huge, huge build-up. But the side that can settle down and just get on with the job in hand will go all the way to no doubt in win this game. And so far for the Rhinos, a solid set. Mikolai Oletsky once again with his second carry, 200 metres last week against Hull and 32 tackles from the big front row. He's got a job to do tonight. Well, in the context of the season for both these sides, this is huge. They cannot afford to lose. Leeds come into it. Oh, Moylan's doing really well here. Both of them coming into it. In, in mixed circumstances, Leeds, of course, having lost their coach this last week. So Rowan Smith's gone. Chef Walker and Scott Bricks have prepared this team here tonight. Lee knowing that that, that little glimmer of a chance of making the top six probably disappears if they lose here. Yeah. But Leeds, likewise, have to get that winning habit and soon if they are going to make the playoffs as well. Yeah, you've just nailed it there. Tom Amon. A player of the match performance from him last week and still continuing to find ground. You're right, if Lee go on and lose this game, it sees them seven points adrift. Perhaps possible forward pass there. Yeah, Kendall pulls him up. Bit of sloppiness there at the back end of the set. Adrian Lamb, who won't like the look of that. Matt Davis and Moylan just getting their timing wrong. But for the Lee Rhino side, if there was ever going to be a reaction built upon the back of what we've just witnessed in the pre-game for this, and of course the sacking of Rowan Smith. Well, that was the time for this side to react. Well, we've had a we've had a whisper that Rowan Smith's here tonight to have that uh, confirmed. But there's the man in charge, Chef Walker. And here is an opportunity for Brody Croft with an early run inside that Lee half. Picked up by Ned McCormack, youngster. Not making his debut tonight, but making his way in the senior game with his appearance here. And Leeds finding a bit of will and finding a bit of muscle to carry themselves further in the hands of another of those youngsters, Alfie Edgel. And Mikolai Aletsky will take it further forward as well. Into dummy half comes O'Connor. Frawley's on his inside, waiting and collecting the pass now. Back for Smith, Cam Smith, the captain of the night. Huge responsibility on his shoulders, of course, to make sure his side are focused on the job in hand. O'Connor picks up, looks left. Here's Frawley, first attack for Leeds, first attacking position. Reese Martin, who in recent weeks has been linked with a move to Lee next season, potentially. O'Connor pulls it out, and on the sixth tackle, Frawley will put the kick high in the air, and it's uh, it's come off Lee hands. It's come off Lee hands. It's another set of six, so maybe that's a panic there from James McDonnell because they had another set to play with. That's the end of the There's no advantage, and Lee, fortuitously, will get it back here. Yeah, the kick there from Frawley. Look at Ricky Latelli. He can't deal with it, but McDonnell just decides to try and roll that ball in with Fusser to it. Just at the bottom of the screen, the kick's too long, and it's Lee who'll turn the ball over. Josh Charnley, he's tasked with where we're carrying that ball. Only makes a couple of metres. Well, Lee has certainly, uh, Leeds rather, certainly has a youthful edge to its lineup tonight. Ben Littlewood making his debut on the bench as well. Sam Essay Jr. having just signed from Wigan on loan. He had a game at Castleford on loan, didn't he? But his first game for Leeds tonight, if and when he comes on. But it is out of necessity as much as out of choice because they've got so many players missing, not just with injury, but with concussion. Seven of them, Harry Newman, Ash Handley, Andy Ackers, Tom Alroy, James Bentley, Sam Lissoni, all temporarily out. Morgan Gannon's gone for the season because of those issues. So that will be a concern behind the scenes. Meantime, here comes Lamb with a kick high and a, a catch by Fussy Tua. It's uh, only his third appearance of the season as well because of injury problems. Yeah, it's not quite happened for Fussy Tua in a lead shirt. Only 44% of his games filled during his time. Picked up by Frawley. Back on the inside again, Lockie Miller's joining in from full-back, but easily stopped by a robust Lee defence. Here comes Fussy Tua. It'll skip. He only managed um, a handful of appearances, 17 last season because of a, an ankle injury. 
and only the third so far this season so I think most people would wish him good luck with a run of form and fitness this is McCormack that's the Lee at the fifth so O'Connor's up there quickly looks down that left hand side for Frawley's left boot who puts it high and Moylan is underneath it and uh, well met by Martin who times that to perfection yeah it was brilliant work from Frankie Halton to put the kick pressure on it just allows Moylan to catch it that second later than he needed before flattened there by Reese Martin Zach Hardacre of course wants a Rhino part of that treble winning team with Rob Burrow Hardacre put down I think we'll see a little bit of a swapping and changing between Hardacre, Moylan and uh, Ed Chamberlain tonight. Chamberlain having been uh, named at standoff. I think Moylan will be creeping up to that position plenty as well as the night goes on. Back it comes to Lamb. Fusitua should catch this and does safely patches. And he's going to be stopped there. So. Jenna Brooks down on the touchline. You, you have news for us. Yeah, evening, Dave. Just uh, another tribute to the late, great Rob Burrow. Uh, the ref and the two linesmen tonight are wearing specially designed MD football boots. Thank you, Jenna. Notice as well that uh, there we go. Those are the specially designed boots. Noticeable as well that the, uh, the, Lee, the Lee officials here, including Adrian Lamb, is uh, wearing a yellow rose. There's, there's a, a, an applause on the seventh minute here as well. This has become something we're getting used to in the last few weeks. Their famous number seven saluted in the seven. The applause thundering around this stadium that is packed to capacity in honor of just one man. Lee Board, Derek Belmont, the owner there, wearing those yellow roses as well. Here comes a man for Lee. We find themselves in a very good position here. Davis out of Dummy Hart. Moylan now takes it on. It's um, a line hit by Chamberlain. Leads defence, holding that for the moment. Hardacre again, swings it back to Moylan. Here's Davis. Lamb has to reach, puts a little grubber kick in. He started from a poor position with a the balance there, and Momorowski picks it off the ground easily back for Leeds. You know, the pass from Matt Davis there, just round the bootlaces of Lachlan Miller. Uh, Lockie Lamb, sorry. The kick wasn't quite where it needed to be. Surrender! And now an eerie silence just settles over the ground. I think people are emotionally drained at the moment. Understandably. This is Smith for Leeds. O'Connor in there. Reese Martin will take it on. And well done by Frawley using the man on the outside edge. And he gets a penalty here. Right side, Chamberlain. Offside. offside against those lead defenders, so chance to uh, dig deep into their opponent's half here for Leeds. Yeah, late in the tackle as well, that right edge, they just get up far too aggressive. And Chris Kendall pulls them for offside. And they're able just to creep inside of their opposition half now, the home team. And Sanger it, he carries straight back in. Maybe Gets carried. over 30 metres away. Maybe carry by Sanger, and there's a platform set here. Roots have been dug in. Can Leeds produce on the back of it? Oledski again taking it closer. Here's Croft with a skip and a run, and he takes them on here and reaches and scores. Oh, that was special. Never mind the video referee. He's made the decision for himself. But we have to go upstairs to find out what the video ref makes of this. Say from Jack Smith. It's 
tackle two. We've got a try on field. Checking ground in, please. It's going to be camp two. For this angle, Croft is in possession. Still in possession. So the hands are always on the ball. Let's go back on the same angle if this is our best angle. Hands are always on the ball. Could there be any other angle that might be better than that side? This one we try. Yeah, this angle's going to be our best. We'll go on this angle, please. Just back on this angle and slow. Back, back, right. Slow from here now. Hands are on the ball. Hands are still on the ball. The ball touches the line. Thank you. I made our decision. Well, I hope this doesn't sound too corny, but that was a try in the style of Robbie Burrow, wasn't it? Sure was. Just hard, snapping hard off his right foot and challenging lazy defenders. The carry beforehand from Mikhail Ioletsky, Dave. The line speed from Lee was just non-existent. They're on the back foot. And then Brody Croft, he senses it, no inside pressure. Goals and skirts and has a look. And he's able to catch them out. Matt Moylan tries his very best at the end. But just keep your eyes here. All the shirts are headed sideways. Tom Amon, Jack Hughes can't tie him. The space is there. And the strength from him. Brody Croft so often to try provide it for the Leeds Rhinos. Well, he gets his third try of the season. And it was an absolute beauty as well. And look what it means. Uh, th there is so much emotion welled up there for so many reasons for Brodie Croft. In a, as Rhys Martin puts it over. But he's not had the best of seasons here. The club have not had the best of seasons. The emotion of the night, that all seemed to combine to produce that primal scream of celebration at the end. Uh, emotionally charged. Well, I actually believe that Brody Croft has been one of the better performers in this struggling Leeds outfit. And tonight we might see a, a different style of the way they play it. Sometimes under a coach you can play to instruction or perhaps a lack of instruction, Dave. When the Rhinos have started like a house on fire. So Hardacre restarts. And there is an energy running through the blue and amber at the moment. Helped again by another penalty here. I came into this game licking my lips at the prospect of Oledski taking on Tom Amorn, who I think has been one of the form props in the competition. But so far, Oledski's just carried that ball hard and direct, and he gets the better of his opposite number there in Tom Amorn, gives away the penalty. Not just this game tonight, there's a game over at Wigan, of course. Wigan leading early, six points to nil against London. Win for them tonight takes them uh, back clear at the top. Currently level on points with uh, St. Helens and Hull Kingston Rovers following Hull KR's win last night at Cass. The three of them locked together, but Wigan with a game in hand, and that game in hand is against Lee, of course, in a few weeks' time. O'Connor waits to deliver again. This is Martin, just having a burst of that Lee line. Okada quickly over once more. Oleski is pouring the ground next. He wants to go. Here he goes, taking it in. Good, good meters there after that initial contact. There is an intent about this Leeds team. No doubt about that. Croft, flat pass. It's taken on again by uh, McDonald. 15 out and one play to go. Croft now dribbles it to the corner. Work to do on that side from Charlie. Brilliant. He's not going to get. Oh, he is. He's just. I was going to say he wasn't out of the in goal area, but he just about cleared the line with the ball. But some work to do here yeah. for this lead team. Yeah, two wonderful pieces of play. One from Josh Charlie to field that ball in as he takes another carry. But the kick from Brody Croft was exceptional as well. You see there, threading the needle. Josh Charlie under pressure from Fossa Tua, Momorowski and Croft, the kicker as well. Does enough to get over. The atmosphere at the moment, the electricity running around this stadium. This this feels like Headingley used to feel like yeah. when the Burrows, the Maguires, the Luluis, the Peacocks were running around and entertaining. Yeah. They've not had that for a while, have they? It's but been they've a long certainly time. got it here tonight. Yeah, the place is bouncing. Rocky Miller, what a find he's been as well. There's only Tim Lafay in the competition who breaks more tackles than the fullback for Leeds Rhinos. Tricky customer to put down. Up and at them again here. Edgell joining in in the middle. 
Just a lift again, just to try and get his team downfield. Here's Cameron Smith, Sangare's on his outside. Smith will have a go himself, though, and take them on in the wrestle. Too many in there for him to get real cut through. Owen Trout keeping upstairs to make sure he could get the offload away. And here comes Miller. And it, a little step back on the inside again from McCormack. Crawley sticks it high. There's some distance to be covered. And uh, yeah, Oleski peels away, knowing exactly what he's done there. Tackle the man in the air. And it's an instant penalty. He couldn't help himself. He puts his hands on his head, but he's a couple of seconds late. He's got to be better than that. He's got to know how to pull out of there. But if you're a prop forward with a tasty pair of ribs a few inches in front of you, the temptation is too much, isn't it? Dave, the game's moved on an awful lot. You know, now he, that, that will be getting pulled up. It's a soft error. So Lee trying to settle things down here. Hard acre. That's by Chamberlain, referee saying stop milking. I think uh, he's accusing Lee players of trying to win something. Davis spinning it out. Hughes and now Lamb, and they cut a few out. And Moylan puts it back on the inside, and Lutelli with a juggle. He just needed that catch to be clean. This is Amon. Tom Amon having a look, having a try, trying to push through. Davis pops in there, a Papi on the bench, of course, tonight. He'll add a little bit of zip when he comes on, and um, they're trying to burst. It's the offload, Lutelli, but he can't pick out his winger, Charlie. Flies out of play, and frustration for the coach. Frustration for those on the field as well. Yeah, just perhaps guilty of overplaying. The offload looked almost impossible. That's the right player, but Lutelli and Charlie, just a misread from one another. Charlie wants to come under, and Lutelli wants to put him in the corner. The ball's turned over 10 metres away from the la Rhinos line. It's not a bad place to turn the ball over for them. It's the Lee side, of course, that comes into this, having lost only once in their last six. And amongst their scouts, Catalan a couple of times, including last week. They've beaten Salford, they've beaten Huddersfield, they drew with Cass. So they're, they're, they're with confidence. And what's more impressive, Dave, that this is their fourth out of five away games on the road. They've won. So let's go again. And let's go again. Oh, he loses it there. Well, carries the defender, but in the end, not the ball. But the, the effort again there, the intensity. Here's Hanley. The most prolific Lee try scorer this season. There you could see. Look at that. It's those two again. Tom Amon and Letsky. They've got long odds and a mile of Hanley being uh, Lee's top trust try scorer at the start of the year at this stage, wouldn't you? But uh, yeah. how he's grown into that. Was that high? Yes, it was. Yeah, Jared O'Connor just can't deal with the change of angle from the bat roller. And Kyle O'Donnell, the lazy swing in left arm. Can you imagine? They'll have reviewed that all week, wouldn't they? That threat on the left hand side of Lee and O'Donnell's angles. Yeah. But Lee have been given an opportunity here. Best start to a set they've had so far in this game. Chamberlain helps it away to Hughes. Hughes is going to be held up. So Davis goes into position. Chamberlain's running back towards the middle, looking to organise things. Moylan with a late run to this right-hand side to try and create some numbers, but Leeds have plenty there. And Frankie Holton is dealt with relatively easily Davis back to the middle Moylan again now and here's Lamb and again they've got some runners out there in Lutelli who's um, gonna try and carry this Leeds defenders hanging on they still got a couple of plays to go here as well Lee so still a very good opportunity Moylan with a kick over the top Hanley's chasing after this oh and he can't he can't quite gather, gather it in it's the bubble that beat him and Leeds have it back. Yeah, the kick from Moylan over the top was a delicate one as well. But the bounce, Dave, you're right. It just does him just there. Because I think he beat Alfie Edgel to the corner. Chance gone begging again for the Leopards. Who'd be a coach, eh? <laughs> the agony. <laughs> the agony of every bounce. 
and there's no you can do about it when you sat there on the sidelines nothing so just looking to plunder again here Goudemont who's uh... that's a good carry Reese Martin good deception from O'Connor as well gets a quick play of the ball and they take off again through Brodie Croft again challenging defenders just trying to spot a weakness in that line but there's none forthcoming there's O'Connor back to Frawley again and Frawley with a little step back towards the middle one play to go 15 meters out Leeds find themselves in prime position for an attacking kick off the boot of Croft Charlie underneath it oh great great take hands above the head wonderful wonderful take well we know what we're here for tonight of course celebrating the life of Rob Burrow and all the wonderful work he did in terms of MND awareness the QR code on your screen there if you scan that QR code or go to mndassociation.org slash sky sports you can donate remember every day six people diagnosed with motor neuron disease there is no cure and the MND Association a charity working to change that and your support can help and we will be uh, showing you that again throughout the night so if you didn't catch it on that occasion get ready but if you can't get the QR sc screen reminder mndassociation.org forward slash sky sports Leeds having to start from deep here what's coming on sky sports over this uh, weekend as ever the only place where you'll see every single betfred super league game live plus the nrl mix as well some big games coming up as we as we begin to enter the business stage of the season Kyle, yeah, we're over the halfway point yeah and it's gone by so quick the runners and riders are now set to get through these next sort of five or six games and then it really does begin to hotten up cam smith there getting inside a quick play of the ball it's tackle five croft there's croft going wide momorowski now tries to wrong foot Moylan but Moylan had it tracked and immediately wants to launch an attack oh, he does well. oh brilliant and Hardacre on the outside has to cut back in the cover was coming across he didn't fancy his pace to beat them on the outside but this is a, a very good starting position from Lee's point of view given where that kick came in from Leeds at the end of that yeah this is a quality game 21 minutes on the clock both sides willing to move the ball I like there what Moylan did linking up with the backfield just trying to challenge the left edge of the Leeds Rhinos. Edwin Epape now being brought on to speed up that rock. Lamb, Moylan, oh, white ball. ball, brilliant pass to Charlie. Charlie now, oh. but Croft is across there. He's having a game tonight, Brody Croft, and he got over there to make that tackle. And now Epape, Chamberlain, here's Hardacre. Hardacre cuts back on the inside again. Myla Hanley was calling for the ball on the right-hand side. It didn't come his way. Last play here. It's with uh, Hughes. Lamb. And oh, quick hands skill. for Moylan. Brilliant stop. Mutelli. But look at the numbers in blue and amber. There was simply no way he was going to score there. Determination. Effort. Cross there again. But several of his teammates as well yeah i thought they were stripped for all money but the work that brody croft does from underneath the ball fussy two holds and be patient a brilliant piece there defensively from the try scorer brody croft but it's lee's job now to turn up the heat in defense to keep leeds penned as deep as they possibly can well, the penned over in that box that 10 meter by 10 meter box and it's took them three players just to get out of it but again, they've only made 15 or so metres. The Leopards have just got to keep this up. Mikhail Ledski juggles oh. the ball. He, he's hungry for work tonight, isn't he? Oh, he's put uh, himself Ledski. about, yeah. Well, they've extricated themselves reasonably well here. Goudemont on tackle five is only eight away from the halfway line. Croft with a big boot, bit of a spin on that. It just gets the bounce in front of Moylan, but it's kind enough for Moylan to take it one-handed and offer it back to Hanley again. Here comes flying forward. Twelve tries for Amila Hanley. Since his belated introduction, he wasn't the first uh, choice, was he, on the wing at the start of the year? No, he missed the opening two rounds. 
and he's been winger ever since. And you've mentioned it there, 12 tries in 13 games. He's not a bad return. In fact, it's pretty good. Hardacre with a spin. Started in the right centre's position, finishes in the left second rower's position almost when he's eventually put down. Lamb across the line, Moylan now. Holton stopped. Lamb. Hughes, good hands to Lamb. But they're going no further. Yeah, the, the right edge has answered every single thing that the Leopards have thrown at them through Moyle and through Lamb. Well, There's a short side play here. Lamb's going cute on the last play. They're trying to trick them. They're trying to surprise them. But all they've done is give the ball away. And uh, Lockie Miller was looking to pick a path here. Well, they've enjoyed that on the terraces and in the stands for the most part. It's just a huge populated western terrace that didn't where all the lead fans are. But... Leeds fans are enjoying this at the moment, 24 minutes play. Well, they'll be enjoying defensive displays on the right edge, particularly because that lethal left edge that we so often mention when we when we talk and we call games that of Adrian Lamb's side. But the Rhinos, after a quarter of it gone, have answered every single thing there to come their way. Yeah, if you're picking a game plan against Lee, you know that you that know left that, edge. Absolutely. And yet, Amila Hanley, the right winger, is the man with the most tries this season, which perhaps is a tribute to Matt oh, Moylan's read there. Chamberlain. ability to come in. And Chamberlain just flattens Frawley. Croft again looking back at the inside. They've obviously identified that as an area of weakness in the Lee team. Frawley's chanced his arm. Croft's come back on a couple of occasions and got, got through on one of those. One to go. Martin and Lamb again. Oh, it's too long. Uh, a little supercharged off the boot. And will not look back on that with uh, any great relish. Uh, as soon as it left his boot, far too much weight on it. It just means, of course, that the Leopards will get an extra tackle in this set. If Josh Charnley just pinches 10 metres further up the field. Amila Hanley tries to do the same. Is it Pape? Hardacre's up there, but if Pape's going to travel light by himself, quick play the ball as well. Really quick play the ball, and they're getting some extra yards on the back of that as well. Hardacre with another 15 taken up very quickly. And Pape, Lamb back on the inside for Lutelli. Lutelli put down. Well, there's some talent up there, isn't there? Legends of. Uh, Years gone by and some still playing, of course. Watching on here tonight, and what's in Brody Croft? Put the foot down and off he goes. It's a foot race between him and Mott Boland. And the way Croft's playing, he ain't going to be caught. He's not going to be caught. Not tonight of all nights. He does it again. He's having quite the starring performance. But we have to go back and analyse how this all began. Before the celebrations will be try. unleashed. Just check grounding, please. It's too quick for Oh, the grounding. The grounding is what he's looking at. It's zero tackle, and we've got a try on field. We're just checking the grounding of the ball, please. Come along first. It's not going to be best. Slow as we get closer to the grounding. Hands on the ball, hands on the ball. And that ball is grounded. Make my decision. He's doubled his try tally for the season in just one night. Only two before tonight. A season he'd possibly want to forget the way it's gone so far. But the former Man of Steel is rolling back his form of a couple of years ago on this special evening with a second Leeds try. Yeah, and it was a length of the field effort as well. The Leeds Rhinos, they don't switch off. It was a tired carry from Tom Amore. He spills the ball, and in the blink of an eye, the Rhinos are away. Lockie Miller just files Brody Croft through a huge, enormous hole. And the speed of Croft, the former Man of Steel, he scored one earlier, and he's just bagged another. And again, just look at the emotion on his face as he races away. He's got 14 try assists to his name as Brody Croft this season, in what's been a difficult year at the club. Look at that, look at that. Is he enjoying tonight or what? Well, what a night for the Burrow family. Rob's daughter Maya's in there. 
Uh, the whole family here tonight. Um, Mayor Borough delighted with that, as is that man, Sheb Walker. A big, big score. A reminder of the background and why there has been so much emotion here tonight. And Martin has oh, pulled it, Dave. Put it wide. Reese Martin has kicked 43 goals this year, 85.7%. He just pulls that one. Was he ever going to be caught here, Brody Croft? You know, given the people who are chasing, he never looked like getting caught, did he? No, there's not enough there. Josh Charnley tries, and Matt Moylan as well. But the pace from the former Man of Steel is too much. The transition, <laughs> defence to attack, and the Leopards are just too late to react. And a big night now here for Sam Esser, trying to get his career in Super League off and running. Some more disappointing news from Leeds' point of view in terms of David Fussy Tour because he's just gone off for an HIA assessment. Yeah, I mean, how much bad luck has that fella had? Oh, it's not been easy for him. A devastated ball carrier when he's fully fit. But he just can't seem to get going, Dave. So as you pointed out, Kyle, Sam Essay Jr. on the field for his debut. Again, Lockie Miller this time off that right foot, just targeting and the middle unit. Fella from down under, Aaron Penne, who's about to come on as well for his Lee debut tonight. Moylan with the catch, exploring the possibilities. Charnley looking back from whence it came and finding only a Leeds defence that's ready to go. Here he is, Aaron Penny. He arrived last week. His teammates were in Perpignan, so he only got to meet them this week. Trained with them a couple of times. And uh, the man from Melbourne is uh, making his way onto the field. Wigan leading 18-0 against London. No surprises there. They rattled up about 60 against them earlier in the season at Wimbledon, didn't they? And here he is. Here is Penne. It's a decent opening carry. His job is to just give Tom O'Mahon a bit of relief. Lamb. Moylan. Oh, it's a chance. Moylan with a step back on the inside. And throws it now for Frankie again? Halton. And Lucas dragging him down. But as Halton got it down, right, referee's not sure. Time out. Right, Jack. That is tackle four. I have no try. No try on the field. I've got that the ball is held up. Can you confirm? Well, you can hear what the referee thinks about that. Let's have a yep. listen to what the video referee thinks. It's tackle four, we've got no try on field, we're checking grounding. Camera nine will be our best angle for the first shot, please. Let's see if we can see the ball all the way on this. Hotland's in possession. That's a fair challenge. Keep going through on this angle. Still in possession. The ball is up. Yeah. Hand is on the ball and the ball is still up. The ball is on the leg at that point and still up. Let's keep rolling this angle because we can see at this point it's not been grounded. Still up, it's on the two legs. Keep rolling, keep rolling this all the way through. Keep rolling. And we lose the ball on that angle now. I don't imagine we've got anything from the other side, have we? Nothing else that shows the ball. No, none of the other angles show the ball, so this is going to be our best angle. Keep running it through. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Just confirm that this angle doesn't show us anymore with the ball. Keep going through on this angle. The ball is always up at that point. There we go. This is our best angle. Then. Right. Ball's on. Keep rolling it all the way through now to where it stops. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling until the tackle stopped. And it's on the foot. And then we lose it. Keep running this through now to the end of the tackle. And the referee blows his whistle there. Thank you. I've made my decision. Oh, what a super effort that was from the Rhinos. And guess who's in there? coming from the right edge it's Brody Croft who makes the legs tackle first Lockie Miller and Alfie Edgel all denied Frankie Holton a try brilliant defence 
there was attitude again about that Leeds defence, wasn't there? An attitude that we've seen in short supply so far this year. They keep this going for 18 minutes, wow. But Lee is still offering a threat, Lutelli, and uh, Miller's across just to flick it out of play. I mean, I say brilliant defence, they were opened up far too easy. But the fact is that they've now got desire and commitment and ability to move for one another defensively. And that's why, because Lee have thrown a little bit at them for 31 minutes on the clock. And the away team have yet to register a point. There have been games this year when Leeds have put 40-minute performances in and either tailed off or not done it in the first half or whatever. Can they keep this up for 80 minutes? You rather suspect the way they're playing here, I the way so, they yeah. come into this tonight, it looks like this could be their biggest performance of the season. Well, certainly proven to be as Jared O'Connor looks oh, to here's go. Penny. But he misses there. Penny with a carry. Well, Lee fans will be enjoying watching that. If Pape comes out of dummy half, he fancies going, the body's flying at him, and I think he's going to be held up as he <laughs> referee has a right good look there, Chris Kendall. Almost put his head in amongst the bodies just to make sure. Well, the Leopards have got over the line twice now. And I'm not too sure that the home team can just keep inviting. Jared O'Connor flies out the line, he comes out of system. And they nearly get burned for it. Lucky Miller's trying to pretend he's injured there, I think, and slow things down. But the referee's having an of that. Here comes Moylan. Gathered by an abundance of defenders again. This is a Pape. Chamberlain catches. Inside ball. Norman. Seven minutes of the half remaining. Ipape lead desperate to get themselves on and Penne desperate to score a try on his debut. He's certainly had an impact since his arrival on the field, but Lee's defence holds firm again. Yeah, that's good work there. Lockie Mill and Jared O'Connor. Just do enough to stop the big man charging with his second carry. Lee turned the ball over a metre or so away. It's a big defensive set, this, for the Leopards, if they're going to get anything out of this half. There's O'Connor at a dummy half. Martin trying to blast it clear. Lee defenders coming in with intensity and speed off their line. Connor again is having a look around here. Which way is he going? He's going to come left again. It's the, uh, the slight body of Ned McCormack, which does ever so well to find a bit of give. Miller. Smith just spinning out of the hands of Hughes' first attempt. But they're on the last. Cleared the midway point inside their own half. Croft now with a kick. Moylan, perfect position. And Hanley says, give it to me, I'll have a go here. And Hanley again with that footwork and making it difficult for those Leeds defenders, but... Sam S.A. Jr. puts his arms around him and drags him to the ground. Here comes Charlie now. Head down and trying to burst. He's having a feeling about something towards the referee. Yeah, it looked like a little high shot. He get away with it. Chris Kendall have a none of it. It's a quick play of the ball and Penne goes again. Here comes Penne. Good on floor two. It to Hardacre. Oh. Moylan slightly overruns it. Hardacre has to take it on. So Ipape, Lee are very much building their own foundations in the last few minutes. Moylan and Chamberlain, who's gone into the centres at the moment, and he's been dragged out of play. And there again is a taste of the intent and the determination. And Leeds get it back by virtue of their own solid labour. And they're working hard for one another. But Chamberlain just gets held up. And the work from Cam Smith and Justin Sangara Usher, Osher, Ed Chamberlain over that sideline and just deny any chance of a threat. The commitment there from the Rhinos, particularly in the, defending their line, has been exceptional tonight. Momorowski. Chef Walker. 
as a hero leads player of course he played in the grand final in 2004 didn't he and yeah. it's 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 easy to forget but that grand final win by Leeds then was their first title in 32 years so the drought they're on at the moment is not quite as bad as it was in the 70s and 80s Oh, but the thing is, the golden generation, more a lot of this crowd, once you have success, you get a taste for it, you get used to it, and you almost start demanding it. But it takes an awful lot to win one title. So Leeds within sight of their opponent's half. Back with Croft. A twist by Esse. Would have been... Uh, Desperate for action, wouldn't he? Wigan player hasn't played for them yet. Croft with a pass away. Oh, McDonald. Here's O'Connor. Croft again is standing there, wants the ball, gets the ball. Smith. And across it comes. Frenchman Michael Goudemond is put to the ground and Martin gets up there to collect. Here's Smith oh. and Croft. Oh, it's a poor pass from Penny. It's going to be a penalty Croft. this still. Yeah. Penny just can't resist. Not count Smith off his feet just as he lets go of the pass. You would imagine here, 30 metres away, slap bang in the post, just seeing the picture there. He just hits him as he releases that pass to Brody Croft. It's late, but that's all it is. And the Rhinos through the trusty boot of Rhys Martin. Just fancy taking this scoreboard from 10 to 12. With just over two minutes left on the clock. And with this Leeds Rhinos crowd, all full of energy. They'll be delighted with what they've seen here. South stand looks resplendent, doesn't it? There might be a few in there that haven't been there for a couple of months, couple of years, but drawn back tonight in memory of Rob Burrow, and so far will have enjoyed what they've seen since kickoff. Martin settles himself. Missed his last one, but this one is directly in front of the sticks. Has to give his side a, a clear two-score lead, and the flags go up to confirm that. And Leeds now leading by 12 points to nil. A happy Leeds coach. We've not been able to say that too often this year. No. And they've been full value for it as well, Dave. I really like the way they started the game. Mikolai Oletsky, I thought he was exceptional, carried the baton forward. But I love what they did, targeting in and around Lee in the middle. Tom Amor, so often, the talisman of the pack. Well, he took him out of the game because he just made him work effort on effort in defence. So Leeds looking to bring it out. It's a good off-floor Croft off the back of it. We're being told, by the way, that David Fossitour has passed his HIA. There he is. But he won't be able to come back on until the second half. This is Reese Martin. Crawley. Good on just uh, carrying in again. O'Connor marching into dummy half again. Looking to launch something the last minute of this uh, first half as well. Have Leeds got another punch to deliver here. Sangare. Last play. This will possibly be the last play of the half as well as O'Connor picks it up. Smith puts it back, here's the man of the half, Croft, who offers it inside for Lockie well. Miller, who's going to be tackled, and Lee will get it back. Is there time for them to get this ball played before the Hooters sounds? Have they got the, uh, the desire to play the ball before the Hooters sounds? It seems not. So, a perplexing first half from Adrian Lamb's point of view. Brody Croft has been the undoubted star of that opening 40 minutes. And Chef Walker might only be interim coach, but he's a happy coach. And so are they. At half-time, it's Leeds 12, Lee nil. Thank you very much, Dave. Just a reminder of what the Leeds club have been through and put themselves through in the last week. In round 14, they lost the second 
from Bottom Hull FC. 48 hours before today's kickoff, they part a couple. Leeds cuts full time, you never know. Uh, lots of rumours still flying around, Dave, uh, with that one. For the next 40 minutes, well, you mentioned it, a complete 80 minute performance really is what Leeds Rhinos need this season. We haven't had one yet. Absolutely, absolutely nailed it there, Kyle. 40 minutes does not make a season. So let's see how this unfolds. And Lee will have a response here, won't they? Yeah, I felt just, you know, on the balance of that first half, they just looked a little bit flat for me, Dave. And Adrian Lamp managing to get his message across to the players. But we'll get to see if they can put that into fruition as Jack Hughes, when he tries to get his side away from his own end and crosses the 40. And a decent couple of carries from the away side so far in this set. Moylan. Reminder in terms of uh, what this night means as far as the table is concerned. If it stays like this, Leeds will be level on points with sixth place Catalan, but of course Catalan will have a game in hand. And if it stays like this, Lee will find themselves five points adrift still of that top six. And with games just beginning to run out, that is a very uncomfortable deficit for Lee. They need to turn this around tonight. And they also, the week next weekend, they're staring down the barrel of an away trip to the champions in Wigan Warriors. So it doesn't get any easier for Adrian Lamb's men. So that's why tonight is such an important night for them. The next 38 minutes, they've got to leave, uh, get, get, leave not leave nothing out there tonight. Here's Miller. Adrian Lamb just wondering if his side can produce a response here Sangare I mean Lee look more threatening when they speed up in and around the rook and they play off the back of it and oh. Frankie Halter with a charge down here there's a race on Lucky Miller should have it covered but you can't account for the bounce of a ball but he does uh, eventually sweep things up and Leeds will start from there with another set of six so Jenna what's the news from the two dressing rooms at halftime well, Dave Chev Walker is extremely pleased with that first half. He says that his side are doing everything that they've spoken about all week. Their effort levels are where they need to be. The togetherness is there. There is so much passion. They just need to reset now and do it all again in this second half. Adrian Lamb has asked his players to cut out the errors. According to our stats, they've made seven in that first half. Uh, they're just doing too much defending. They need to be patient with the ball. But he is confident that they can score some points in this second half. Well, we shall see. Thank you, Jenna. Leeds. Move on with a tussle. Actually picks himself up out of that mess and uh, gets the ball played away. Frawley goes out to Croft. Croft gets it on again to Miller. And uh, here's a step back on the inside from that young fella. But it's a turnover. And then McCormack put down. And then McCormack there. Just choosing to take the line on. A young 19 year old. Not his debut tonight. He made his debut against Warrington in April this year, didn't he? Uh, he was an England Rugby Union international. He decided his future was in rugby league. So. He was playing in the championship last week as well for Halifax in that win over up at Barrow. Well, he finds himself in a different cauldron tonight. Here's Pape. Taken on again by Trapp. Penick, got the arms free. Chamberlain has it now, will take on the line and uh, give them a little bit of a test, but dealt with. One play to go, 15 away, Ipape. Here's Lamb, Lamb right up to the line, and Moylan again is involved, and Lutelli! Again, it's that defensive Rocky effort Miller. that denies them the try. Well, we're going to have another look at this. Right, Jack, it's tackle five. I have no try. Just make sure he doesn't get the ball to the ground. So from, uh, Jack Smith I've again got last here. tackle turnover, just shot on the lines. It's tackle five, we've got no try. We're checking ground in, please, and camera two is going to be our best for our first shot. Tell us in possession. Fair challenge. Now we'll just keep our eyes on this ball and keep running it through. It's up at this point. It's always up, just keep rolling it. Ball is up. Ball is up. 
still up. Keep rolling this angle, please, if you can. Still up. Still up. Keep rolling this angle to stay in shot on this. The ball is always up. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Just until the tackle is complete. Just keep it rolling. Keep going to the end of this tackle. I know where the referee is. Uh, blew his whistle. I can't see him in shot, so he's not getting his end up shot on the line there. Yeah. Thank you. I've made my decision. Wow. Chev Walker spoke about the to get to togetherness, the desire, and once again, no the so Leopards get over the line, but are denied from a last-ditch effort, and it's Lockie Miller this time. Ricky Lintelli, he does so well, just about to ground that ball, and Miller just throws his arm underneath it. It's a Leeds defence tonight. Oh, what about the Lee defence there? That's a great response, and they've got the ball back. Penny came out with it. Lamb tries a little kick. Hardacre drops on it, referee says there was a knock-on. Congratulating themselves here. Well, well, we talk about Leeds' determination in defence, matched by the Leopards here. Yeah, Fussy to a Penne and Dan Norman. It's a scrum. Just hitting him hard and driving him back. There's a bit of a scramble after it, but Fussy to a very, very difficult carry coming out of that pocket. And the Leopards do so well. And they get another opportunity here early on in this second half. Ten metres away, centre of the field. And keep your eyes on the number seven, Lachlan Lamb. Lamb, Moylan, Hanley, Hardacre. All looking right, all looking right. That's the way it goes. Lamb now. This is Moylan. Hardacre's run the dummy angle. And Moylan's got nowhere else to go. But he does get it away. And Lamb helps it on its way. And Lee is still going here. What an opportunity. Score early here. They planned the doubts. Lamb back to this left-hand side. O'Donnell trying to cut back in. Here's a Pape. Tries a forward pass. Referee's not having that. Still have a chance. Four plays to go. Four plays to go. And camped. In that position, Lamb again, opposite back in once more, and here comes Chamberlain trying to drag himself through. Lamb, uh, Pape rather skips it left. Adrian Lamb now to Moylan. Moylan, Lutelli. That's a great shot, Dave. He just flattens the centre in Lutelli. There's one more to go. Moylan puts it high, chases on, hands up there, it's gone behind. And last off a Leeds hand. Drop out underneath the sticks. Look, this game. I think he might be asking the video referee for a judgment here, or has he made this decision? He's asking for the video referee to help out here. Time's just check in. It's just whose hand has it come off last? And it does there. It comes off young Ned McCormack. Yeah. That right hand bats it away, but I was just about to say there is so many positives. This game is far yet from over. It's far from done, in fact. But there's loads of positives for the blue and amber of the Leeds Rhinos tonight. Let's go. Time back on. Yeah, there is, that, there's the clearest angle of them all, isn't it? And it is a dropout. Awkward bounce for Moylan. Deals with it well enough. Norman takes it back in. Pape lines up at dummy half. Here's Penny again. He's been a lively yeah, presence, been, hasn't he? I was just about to say, he's been decent. He's got a quick play of the ball here at six again as Pape oh. takes off and straightens up. Tries to burst, almost bursts the seams of that Leeds defence, but a stitching just about stays together. And he now it's slung back. A he step. A little bit of a twirl as well by Hughes. You get a sense it's coming, Dave. The Leopards are building momentum. The Pape uh, to Lamb, Lamb, Moylan, Momorowski made the step out, made the early commitment, and he's cut it out. He stopped the advancement. But the Pape goes low and hard for the line, but goes back even harder and ends up on the ground. Clutching dreams, but little else in that situation. Now it's with Lamb. Just a search back. 
by Chamberlain again. Leeds remain resolute. They have done for five. How about the sixth play in this set? Can Lee find a, a, a key to unlock them? Latelli with a kick to the in goal area. And it bounces away. It hit a Lee leg, but not played out. A Lee's leg, not played out. And a tap back on the 20. Again, they just deal with the wave after wave of attack from the Leopards so far. And seven minutes into the second half, it's been all the away team. But the Rhinos, there's just no space, Dave. Everybody's working incredibly hard under the ball. And that kick from Moylan. And he tries to squeeze it through, and he does so. But it's too long. And the Rhinos heroically defend once again. And, and this crowd are loving it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a fabulous Friday night at Headingley. And if Rob Barrow is looking down at this, he'd be mightily pleased with everything that he's seen so far, both before and since kickoff. Timely enough, the number seven creeps into view. And now they go left. And here comes Miller. And oh, Miller offers it back on the inside. Oh, the oh, is oh, on. Oh. And it's going to be Frawley to finish. Matt Frawley. Ripping the heart out of Lee's resistance. Lee's are looking fabulous. And everybody on the terraces tonight is enjoying this unforgettable Friday. Well, Brody Croft, well, he gave us magical. And Matt Frawley has just gave us wonderful. A brilliant, brilliant Leeds Rhinos try. Wonderful ball movement. And the ball back on the inside as it just comes from right to left on the screen. Lockie Miller does so well. Skips, fends away, turns the ball back underneath. And Frawley, like the great number seven that we're all here tonight celebrating, just keeps his legs moving, keeps supporting, and scores a crucial try in the context of this game, Dave. Well, Lee were camped at the other end, but the tent pegs ripped out, and Leeds go the distance, and Chev Walker celebrating. And just from a Lee perspective, Dave, when you've thrown everything at your opposite for seven or eight minutes and you haven't been able to find a way of breaking them and then in the blink of an eye, they roll up the other end of the field. That hurts. It's very difficult to recover from. And with the scoreboard as it is, and this kick more than likely going to be two more points added at 18 nil down. Uh, on a night of big moments and unforgettable experiences, here's a little piece of history because Reese Martin puts this over. It's the 500th successful kick of his career. So that is, uh, that is a pretty astonishing landmark as well. As over, it does go, 18 points to nil. It was a night when we come here to remember a number seven. It's a number seven who scores tonight. And Rob Burrow's signature on the back there as well. And now Irie and his mum looking on with pride. It just had to be. A big, big smile from Irene Burrow. So Hardacre starts us off again. Oh, well, let's keep. Well, Lee are not giving up on this. No, they certainly won't. The evidence tells them that the quality that they have in their ranks, they have the ability to go back to back tries. There's no doubt about that, Dave. But they're going to have to do it pretty quickly. Because the Rhinos here, with 18,000 fans all behind them, are looking in the mood tonight. Well, Martin's done well. Three of them in attendance, but he still slipped it away. And O'Connor will take his side another 15 metres downfield. The adrenaline is flowing. This is Croft. Dummies. Oh, and then it an inside to Momorowski, who comes in on the angle. Now it's Miller. Miller goes skipping away, finds a gap. A little bubble to run into. Leeds are desperate for more here. They are in the mood. Frawley now. Searches again. Now it's with Croft. Croft back inside again. Oh, McDonald dancing away from two defenders. Then finding trouble, but oh, he's knocked oh, it on. He was trying to roll it, keep it alive in the spirit of the moment. But he's knocked it on. 
Well, they were moving like the leads of all. Ali Lawatiti, Danny Maguire, Danny Badir is all here. They played in sides that just kept the ball moving, kept challenging the middles, kept making the move. It's incredibly difficult to defend when they do this, but it all comes to nothing. A beautiful little drop-off, which they've done all night, challenged the inside pressure from the Lee Leopards. And it comes to nothing with that just lack of concentration at the end there. It's almost like he wants to offload the ball. He's got to do a little bit better than that. We've seen Leeds recover seasons dramatically in recent years, haven't we? Not the least when Rowan Smith took charge and took them to a grand final from a very parlous position. Yeah. Ian Blee's now the uh, sporting director at the club. We've seen them go to grand finals and win the thing from fifth place in the table. I tell you, if they can bottle this emotion and this form tonight and reproduce it consistently this season, you wouldn't bank against them. But it's so important as well for Super League to have a strong Leeds Rhinos. And the last couple of seasons, you know, it hasn't been pretty. And other teams have took their place. And Tom Amorn fresh back out to the field. He's got a task on his hands now. It's quick rocks that the, the Leopards need. And playing off the back of that, Brad Dwyer out there too. He'd enjoy them. Leeds sticks it high for Sitsua. I think it was a Moylan handle that it was that knocked it forward. So Leeds get it back. Turn over there, boys. Last step. felt he was in position, but suddenly the big palm of Matt Moylan bats it away. Leeds have it nonetheless. I think you could be perhaps guilty, Dave, of coming in and looking down the team sheet and seeing youngsters like Ned McCormack, Alfie Edgel, Ben Littlewood, Sam Essay, of course, making his debut. And and think that they had it all to do, but every one of them has stood up tonight incredibly well, particularly McCormack and Edgel. Yeah, on the, the subject of those youngsters, oh, here they come again, McDonnell. We mentioned that list of absentees, Newman, Handley, Ackers, Holroyd, Bentley, Lissoni and Gannon. But collectively, those players haven't been able to produce a performance like this so far arm, this the season when they've forwards. been on the field. Looks at the arm, the ball goes forward. Just gone forward. And he just makes a play there, Kai O'Donnell, on Jared O'Connor. And just does enough to make that ball traject forward. Brody Croft trying to play on the advantage line. They really do like taking short sides, the Leeds Rhinos. It's been a strength of theirs this season. We've got 25 minutes left on the clock and you feel that Lee, they have to score next. Yep. Marching all together, sung with gusto. It's going to be an interesting July for Leeds. London at home, Warrington away, Hull KR at home and Huddersfield away. Those in July and then we creep into August and it's Salford away. Those are potentially season-defining matches. And who knows who the coach might be for those potentially season-defining matches. We've got a game to win here. Three, four, up. Move, get square! Sam! Sam! Lamb slings oh, it back to that. Moylan, and Moylan is stepping back in the inside. Momorowski just about holding on to him, and um, likewise, a little help from McDonald. This is the last. Lamb tries to thread it through and knocked on. Yeah, he reached Martin. Martin as he tried to get down. He does everything right, puts himself, reads the kick. With just a lack of execution on the end of it. He reads that play, tries to do the job for Frawley, who's in loop as well. But he spills it and he knows it's a, it's a bad error. Well, the Lee fans on the Western Terrace are getting excited here because they know their side have got an opportunity. And as we so often see, one can very easily can become two, then can become three, and games can turn around. And here comes Lamb to try and engineer that. Well, there's one. And Moylan, and there is the one. And Lee have got themselves back in now. Is this the start of something special from the, the Leopards? It could very well be, Dave. 
And again, the Rhinos have defended the line for a long, long time in this game, and particularly in this second half. And in the end, when you've got the quality in there, we mentioned Lamb and Moylan, they would have a say in this game. And it's took them to just shy of the hour mark to do so. As Matt Moylan just burns and gets on the outside of Momorowski. And it's a decent scrum move. Brody Croft, he can't help but bite in. It brings Momorowski in and the pace and balance of Matt Moylan is enough to get on the outside of Momorowski. Brody Croft there, just a bit aggressive on that play. And it's a chance, Dave. It's a chance for the Leopards. Well, full credit to this Lee side that they've... Uh... They've, uh, they've never been far away from being in this game, have they? Trailing on the scoreboard, but they've been having a dig throughout. I think they've certainly been more improved in the second half, particularly with ball in hand. Apart from a little sort of purple patch there a couple of minutes ago from the Rhinos, the majority of this has been played with our heads turned to the left in front of that western end of the ground as Moylan tries to slot this in front of those Lee fans. Difficult kick with the south stand behind him. Well, it's a big one, this one, because if they are going to turn it around, they need to go up in sixes, not fours, and oh, he's put it wide. Didn't make the distance. Dropped wide as well. So, 18 points to four, but suddenly the coach can be a little more wistful about what could potentially be happening here. Yeah, but it just goes to show that if you're going to invite this attack, and it had to be the left edge as well, but if you're going to invite this attack down near your own line time after time again, they will make you pay. But credit the Rhinos, they've defended heroically this evening. But just that was just too much for them. So encouraged and lifted. Oh! And um, full of effort. Can Lee find another big response here? Well, they're going hunting, but they're not coming up with anything. As the Lee side are just rolling down the field with a slight ball movement here, Frankie Halton decides to just take a few more metres, settle the play. Well, they're searching wide, and here's Moylan. Stepping back, Pepe with a grab. Interesting that both he and Dwyer are on the field at the minute. And it's just designed to speed it up. Both of them like to run. Moylan again. Look it goes. Here's Hardacre. Last play. Manley fling it into Moylan. Only Pepe will take it on again. Here's Lamb and close down. Brilliantly. Brilliant. Brilliantly Brilliant. by McDonald. Yeah, he sensed it. And he went on the pass. Just watch his change of speed when the ball's in the air. He just kills that play. Terrific work from the back rower. Well, a reminder, so much emotion tonight in the build-up. And that QR code on your screen. Uh, today is Global MND Awareness Day as well. And if, if you scan that QR code now, or you go to mndassociation.org slash Sky Sports, you can donate to MND, the MND Association, who are fighting so hard to find a cure for that terrible disease, which everybody in rugby league now is, is very much aware of because of the inspirational Rob Burrow. Oh, ho, 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 Penny! Been a big shot on Reese Martin. Rocks his head back. Miller sticks it high. Henley happy to collect in return. It leads defenders up there. Cutting down his options. Vitelli with a carry. Wigan building on their lead against London as well, which is not the most unexpected outcome, but 36 points to nil they're leading at the moment. Still about 15 or so minutes left in that game as well. It's a good carry there from Kai O'Donnell. Gets in between Cam Smith. Lamb. Jogging back towards the middle. Oh. <laughs> they let, let uh, Sam Essay nearly took off there, didn't he? Getting up there to make that tackle. Oh, it's a pro kick goes, Has it gone too far? And he does his best to try and keep it here, but he can't. Yeah, he's furious with that one. 
He got a quick play of the ball, the carry earlier, and a man of his quality, Matt Moylan, the 32-year-old. He knows he should be putting a better kick in there, an attacking kick. He just catches it wrong. He'll be pleased with you, by the way, Matt Moylan. He turned 33 this last week. Cheers, Jared. Yes. He's getting older, as we all are, Carl. <laughs> Can we get another year then? <laughs> How old were you when you retired? Too old. Morosky <laughs> gets up and plays. Here comes O'Connor. Leeds reloading here. Oletsky. Well, he went forward, but he came back a distance. And Lee's determination in defence is very much apparent here. Miller. Corey Johnson, having arrived from the interchange bench in that dummy half roll. Croft again. It's uh, lifted by Pate and dumped to the ground. It's a good effort, that, wasn't it? Yeah, a good solid hit. Some strength there. This is Martin who sticks it up there, Hanley underneath it, judges it well enough. Oh, just watch this, almost a Cumberland throw. We give away the penalty to Leeds Rhinos. The youngster just having another go at him, I think it's McCormack. So, Lee with a, a tap restart just about five short of the halfway line so here they come with another set the majority of which will be in their opponent's half another chance to finish in an attacking position Leeds are being asked a few questions here by a Lee side that is refusing to go down without a fight Dwyer to Moylan back on the inside I'm own now will straighten things up with Pape running alongside him as well like a blocker in the NFL here's Dwyer if Pape Chamberlain trying to take them on Dwyer's across there Moylan flinging at Lamb back on the inside for Lutelli Lutelli's trying to find a path here was there an obstruction there? no there wasn't didn't stop anyone making the tackle. There was contact, but they didn't stop anybody's defensive efforts. Dwyer now on the six, goes for glory, ends up bruised on the floor and having to get the ball back. I think he was expecting something else there, wasn't he? Adrian Lamb. Well, that right edge was set up, and Lachlan Lamb, he looked disappointed there when Dwyer decided to go for it on his own. I'm not sure of his exact wordage there, but I think the word pass was included in it. Yeah. Fifteen minutes to go. Seth Stan banging the drums. Momorowski with the offload. Tattle on Johnston. There's um, Mitchell again. a little flat there for S.A. Junior to run onto, but he's kept it alive, and O'Connor now, and Waletsky throws it left, and suddenly Edgel with a chance to run with it, pushing one off, takes two more to put him down, leads on the last, only just inside the lee half, they were hoping for a restart there, referee says play on again, here comes Lockie Miller, running it on the last, but they just, um, just fouled things up a little. And then it comes to nothing in the end. It's the line speed from Brad Dwyer and Zach Hardacre on the inside that makes Lockie Lamb, sorry, Lockie Miller, just step right off his foot. Forces him down a short side. And he just can't quite do the soft, delicate hands to pass it out. And they come up with a mistake. Dwyer again. Lino, one try. One try. Suddenly the game's wide open again. Yeah. Dwyer, this is Lamb, they're working hard, they're working really hard. Dwyer, 
Amon. Soft handed pass. Can't unlock. Leads his um, defensive line. But they'll go again here. And oh. it pops oh, Just absolutely burst through. Absolutely burst through that Leeds defensive line. And now they're excited because now they know it is on. 18 8 kick to come. There's life for Lee in Leeds at the moment. Fucking Lee. Doing a pop it. It's his third try. Nothing fancy. We talked about the shape, the left edge. There's nothing fancy to this. But it's soft. It's soft to say the least. It's disappointing for the Rhinos because they've defended so, so well tonight. With McDonald and Corey Johnson that can't deal with the immediate. You can have all the shape you want, but you've got to deal with what's in front of you. And that is far too easy. And Chev Walker would be disappointed with this. You shouldn't be getting beat like that. But it's game on. Matt Moyles kicked the goal there into double figures. Leeds 18, Lee 10. The game's alive, 12 minutes to go. The South Stem finds its voice again to try and lift the local heroes. But those Lee fans on the Western Terrace now, no, no, there's a chance. All that emotion of the first half. Is it draining them a little now, Leeds? Well, no, I think it's, they've almost gone into shock mode where they just sat back the three tries up and we talked about the 80 minute performance but they've made a number of errors and they've hurt themselves but there's no excuse really Dave for that last try as Lachlan Lamb was catching that ball Tom Amon was just looking at the defensive line picking where he was going to run at this is a huge passage of play to come 12 minutes two seasons on the line for both these clubs win tonight desperately important to improve their chances of making the end of season party the playoffs and all of that they can trace their fates possibly back to tonight when september comes around but who gets out of this with dreams alive lutelli one to go Dwyer, Lamb again, hoists it high, should be, should be easy for Miller and is, he was uh, chased down by Trout but he's got away from him, not O'Donnell. Yeah, Trout perhaps sensing an opportunity from Lockie Miller's footwork. to reach there, didn't he? in the final 10 minutes now Dave we're locked in at eight points the Rhinos at the minute struggling for goal forward Croft back on the inside again Lucic pass swept up kept safe kept possession but they've lost they've lost yards and they're on to the last play here, Leeds. And Lee will be looking to close them down. Trying to put up some pressure on Miller, but Miller does get the kick away before too many advance. And here comes Hanley to run it back to give his side the best starting position possible. Yeah, there's one team that looks to have the energy at the moment, and it's the away team. Only 20 metres made in that last set. Lucky Miller has to kick the ball from deep. And Papi again. Three tackles to go. They've almost reached the halfway point in this uh, in this set in terms of yardage covered. But Hardacre put down, nibbling inside, leads half of the game. Amon just put himself into second gear and then third very quickly to spring forward. But leads suppressed momentarily. Lamb goes left. O'Donnell comes running in. High tackle. No, I think the tackle's okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, two proud parents here tonight. Rob's mum and dad. Up in the big screen and uh, big smiles in what has been such a, a sad week. And the grand, grandkids here too. What a night we've had.
pussy to it. Johnson bends his back and sends it left to Martin. Martin rolls it out and Frawley quickly gets the pass away. Search back on the inside. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and Mo gets himself in the way and McCormack's crunch, but he's done really well to get up and play that. And Smith now is a lead player who uh, just stepped out of the line. Owen Trout just to close things down, but Smith resists the temptation to pass. Last play. Miller sticks it up there. And where's this coming down? Into the hands of Hanley again, who's claimed it well. Yeah, great take. I've watched Lee over the last couple of weeks, and all the teams seem to opt to kick the ball high and hang it into a mile of Hanley. But he's so safe. He comes up with another great take. Seven and a half minutes to go. Can Lee manufacture a great escape at Headingley? Or do Lee's hang on for an emotional and memorable win? Dwyer goes out to Hardacre. Leeds working hard in defence and Lee are running out of tackles. Two to go, still inside their own half. They need something special here. Lamb, oh, Moylan, sensed that Momorowski was coming in, so taps it away and here's Charlie with all his muscularity. That's a great piece of skill from Matt Moylan, the catch and pass under pressure. This is the last, this is the last. Lamb again. Out it goes. Chamberlain helps it on its way. Moylan's there again. Here's Hardacre. Leeds defenders across there in numbers. Close down the threat. Close down the danger. Adrian Lamb frustrated again that his side can't find a breakthrough here. Oh, last couple of sets. Ran out of ideas on last tackle options. They've decided to run the ball. The Rhinos have defended well tonight. Apart from that, Edwin Apape try. They've worked hard. Well, Leeds have not been very effective, as you can see, in scoring in the last nine, ten minutes of games. They are the worst in the league. Only two tries in between 71st and 80th minute the whole season. Only twice they've done that, and you can see how far behind they're behind everyone else. So well, It's going to sound crazy this day, but I actually think it's the Rhinos' defence that have won them this game tonight. Yes, they managed to register 18 points. For three or four occasions, they've denied certain tries that would have been for Lee. And if those had been scored, well, the scoreboard looks an awfully lot different. Yeah. There's Croft again. Taking a tumble underneath those bodies that come at him. Frawley. His duty to put it up there. Moylan. Again, hardly has to move an inch. He just anticipated where that was going. And... As Hanley brings it forward, Rhys Martin meets and greets with a certain ferocity. He didn't miss. Shoulder into ribs. Here's Charlie. Lee have to score twice. Leeds have to deny that um, assembly of facts. They have to roll the dice sooner or later. Dwyer. Amon. Davis. But again, they're running through the tackles inside their own half. Dwyer, sit back again. Martin gets up and plays it. You can see that Dwyer wanted it played much quicker than it was. Remonstrating with the referee. Lamb puts it up there. And uh, always oh, pass off the shoulder of Miller. And... Well, it went backwards. There's a bit of luck for Satir picks it up, but Miller's hurt here. Well, I think Tom Amon comes off second best. He actually cl collides with Miller as he's in the air. I thought it was a penalty, if I'm honest. But Tom Amon, he takes a knee to the face for good measure. <laughs> Miller's problem cramped there. It looks that way. Enjoy tonight. A big, big crowd here tonight. Huge crowd. The atmosphere of the South Stand right beneath our very feet, Dave. It's been bouncing all night. And it's great to see 
well, everybody to watch the game, but they've come here for Rob Absolutely, Bellamy. Absolutely, yeah. 17 and a half thousand. Very nearly capacity crowd tonight. And one that all the Rob's family can be immensely proud of. He brought so many moments of joy to these fans here tonight over a long, long time. And he's won over millions with his brave, committed and selfless battle with a horrible disease of MND. Yeah. Well, smiling faces in amongst the heartbreak, smiling faces in there. And a lot of MND shirts as well. You can see those um, very specially designed MND shirts which go towards raising money for the MND Association as well. A real cluster of them all around the ground. But there's a game to be won here, and there are still four and a bit minutes to play. Oh, no. Time, is ticking. Time is ticking away, Dave. And this isn't help. Well, that's huge. That's huge because the clock is very much on Leeds' side now. And that's another set of six they're going to get under their belts here, all things being equal. And that's another minute or so that will disappear from Lee's disposal. Matt Davis back in the side last week over in Perpignan after missing those two away trips to OKR and Huddersfield and just gives away a relieving penalty in a period of the game where it was almost last hope for the Leopards. Leeds know they don't need anything fancy here, just honest endeavour. And in terms of honest endeavour, there's the personification. He set the benchmark early in the half. And when Mikolai Oledski's carrying the ball like that, then people will follow him. O'Connor moving out of the dummy half roll now that Johnson's come on, but still playing an important part here. Martin spinning. A couple of plays. There's no value in a drop goal here, is there? They just want to finish this either with a try or put their opponents as yeah. close to their own goal line as possible. And here's Brody Croft. Lively tonight, Croft. Hardacre. Well, they'll settle for that, Leeds. There's two and a bit minutes now, two and a half minutes, there or thereabouts. That's all you have to start from here. Yeah, just keeping hold of the ball. There's no point in putting boot to it. Just turn it over, knowing that you've only got to make another 12 tackles and the game's yours. They have to throw something here now. Kyle O'Donnell, he goes searching, but Momorowski all over him. It's almost at the point of impossibility in terms of time remaining for Lee to score twice. They have to score in this set, have to score in yeah. this set, of course they do. Here comes Lamb, out to Hardacre. Who else has he got out there? Well, Hanley's out there, but Hardacre wants to do it himself, but the crowd he wants graced. And he was once very much a hero. Hanley brings it back to the middle again. And in the reach, and Lamb again is closed down. Our referee says play on, he had the whistle in his mouth, oh, and then he does yeah. belatedly blow it again. Charlie's off, thinks he's on a try-scoring run. But the referee just, just hesitated there before he blew that. Yeah, he was caught in two minds, whether that ball did go forward. On that evidence there, it's almost a harsh call against Lachlan Lamb. The ball looks like it certainly goes back, but it's terrific pressure from Brody Croft. He set this game alight with his two tries in the first half, his defensive efforts as well. And that there, the man who starts it all, is there to finish it, Brody Croft. Well, Friday nights haven't been like this in Leeds for a long time. The South stand in full voice. A night when the majority of people came in here tonight for the simple reason of paying tribute to Rob Burrow. Six again. Here's Martin. We're just taking the time now, just knocking off seconds at each and every play of the ball. Croft caught in possession now the other number six and two Australians and it's back with Martin Martin will take it in 
This is the last set now, 20 seconds left to play. Oletsky. Slowly does it, off they go. Countdown now as Frawley goes out to Martin. Martin will just take the tackle. And that is that, and a point to the sky from Brody Croft. Tears of emotion we've seen all night. Smiles as well in amongst them. They came tonight to salute their little hero, and Leeds, on the back of that, have let the good times roll again. Headingley has been a wonderful, wonderful place to be on such a special night. And Leeds might even on the back of that think they could have just reignited their season. Yeah, special night as the Burrows look on. Brodie Croft at the heartbeat of everything good about the Rhinos. And now their season may, may Dave, just burst into life. We'll see about that, but in terms of a mark of respect tonight, you could not have wished for anything better than what we've witnessed from start to finish. Full time here, Leeds 18, Lee 10. Dave Kyle, thank you very much. A special night here at Leeds. We've said it many times. I don't think Barry McDermott, Jamie Jones Buchanan, we or anybody in here tonight will forget what we've just seen. Do you know the images that are sticking with me? Of course, we see Jeff, we see Irene celebrating. And let's be right, it was tense because Lee Leopards are a fantastic side. But young Miles, the nephew, who was just down below Rob's mum and dad. There he is at the bottom of your screen. Miles, the most passionate kid I've ever come across. Great character he is. He's only played three games of rugby. He scored one try already. So I meant to see him at Hull last week, but I know, and he was... Obviously, everybody was upset at the start of the game, but he's delighted now. And I think everybody else in, in this Henley Stadium is. He's wearing the special Leeds Rhinos MND shirt designed by Kat Muir, who is herself living with MND. Miles will never forget this. Any youngsters in here, any youngsters watching this on TV tonight will not forget this, JB. This is sport that, at Brian. its best. It's sport at its very best, Brian, and there's a lot of young people that won't remember we're nowhere near alive and born when the golden generation come through this is some of their finest and best experiences and i've been around for 30 years and i've not felt a night like this tonight brian you know the rubber all these marathon and the, the previous one we talked about in 2020 12th of january all special occasions but it felt somewhat exponentially special uh, about tonight and when you called it actually you know we listening to the south stand the energy that's coming out of there it was like looking back into it 10 15 years ago when it had the condensant lights your orange and asbestos roof <laughs> and just madness from within and you felt that essence of that tonight we're on sky sports action showcase and main event we will have people watching this that maybe aren't regular rugby league watchers it's worthwhile to continue